And welcome back to Two Sides with Missouri and Mahailu. I'm Stefan Mahailu. We now have a live guest in studio. We do. John Kane. Uh, there he is. He hosts Let's Talk Native. It's an AM radio talk show. And really, you have been caught up in this flurry of allegations, accusations, details about this brawl ever since it happened at Seneca Niagara. We thank you for coming on. Well, I appreciate you having me. Thank you. Thank you also for bringing the videotape. Uh, your reasons why? I mean, did you want to get the message out there or the individuals? I mean, what, what is the thought process right now? You, you know, the reality is I'm less concerned about what the actual, the, the actual altercation, uh, you know, because there are a lot of people can, can claim, you know, why they did what they did and, uh, and everybody can point fingers on, uh, on who behaved badly. My concern is the way the media covered this thing, because when this thing started going viral, and I don't mean just in the, in the internet sense of the word, but when all the other newspapers and, every, and everybody else, and including the media, including Channel 2, everybody was really quick to jump on uh, Mark Rosanti's view that he was, he was attacked, uh, and even implying that it was somehow political in nature, that it was that it was it was the release of some pent up hostility between natives and uh, and state politicians, and it was nothing like that. The, the The reality is, he inserted himself into a conflict, quite possibly with the best of intentions. His wife, she inserted herself into the conflict, and it didn't go well for either one of them. And 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 the tape that you have, really, what that demonstrates is that that Mark Rosani is not being totally forthright in what, what transpired either. But, but sir, isn't it possible though, when looking at the entire security surveillance video of the entire event, because this is about a four minute snippet, isn't it entirely possible though that the senator, there is some truth to what he's saying, that his wife, even though he did intervene into an altercation, that his wife was basically pummeled and he was trying to defend her? Yes, uh, it is. It is possible, but what's not being talked about is what is the role that his wife played in this thing. From what uh, all the accounts that I heard is that his wife literally raked her hand across the face of a Seneca woman, and she responded to having and she had scratches down her face and down the front of her uh, as a result of, of of Maria Grisanti getting involved. Now, whether she did that intentionally or not, I'm not even suggesting that. But the reality is, if you're a woman and somebody comes up and rakes your face with her fingernails, there's a good chance that that's going to Escalate, and if neither Grisantis got involved in this thing, this thing was diffusing pretty much on its own anyway. And and I'm not, and again, I'm not suggesting that he didn't have good intentions. I don't think that she had good intentions towards any Native people when she got involved. She was trying to defend her husband. Right. Again, you know, looking at the video, this is like at the end of the first melee between the two um, businessmen, so to speak, that had quieted down. It shows that he's the only one being held down. Uh, well, and, 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 and is, is that what your eyewitnesses had said? Th that's my point. You know, and I realize that this is just the end of the, the video. It doesn't show the altercation leading up to this. But there's no question that if you look at this video, that the only aggressor in the last five minutes of this thing is Mark Rosanti. The only person that is being that is needed uh, uh, that needs restraint is Mark Rosanti. The only person who attacks anybody is Mark Rosanti. He makes a he he runs across the room and takes Eric White out, who is already just trying to hobble out the door. I mean, and I'm not suggesting that there isn't a story before this, but but again. Regardless of all, that's not even my point. That's not my concern. My concern is the way this thing got characterized was that, was that this was a, somehow some pent up hostility between natives and non natives, and it wasn't. But let's listen to what Mark Rosani had said before. Again, the direct quote is if someone got hit in any circumstances, that's too bad because my wife was on the bottom of that pile. I would do it again in a heartbeat. Looking at the big uh, picture, sir, if someone were on the bottom of a pile and that was my family member, I may be reacting in the same way. Would you agree? That's fine for you to say that, but at the time in this video, his wife is walking around. He never goes to his wife. He never consoles her. He never says, honey, are you okay? He's just flaming at, at all of the security. He never even goes to comfort his wife. So I'm sorry, but the video doesn't even support his, uh, you know, his uber concern for his wife either. Do you see my point? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Right, then, then again, again, and now, obviously, there's been security tape taken at the casino that has not been made public. Do you think that this is just something that Seneca Nation wants to just 
let the police deal with. They're not going to release the tape. So we see because what the cops have said is it's hard to tell who started the whole brawl to begin with well, based and, on and the, the, the camera angle. Well, and, and let's let's be honest here. There are many cameras in the casino. There are probably probably some very, very clear views of everything that transpired here. But the, but the reality is nothing in any of the uh, casino surveillance video substantiates what, uh, what Mark Rosanti and his wife are saying. Otherwise, let's face it, there would be charges. You, nobody is going to assault a senator and his wife and not be charged with it unless there's something more to the story. And that's the problem, again, that I have with the media. How could the media not say, uh, challenge what Mark Rosanti's view was, especially since you know, this, yeah, we got five minutes of a shaky uh, cell phone video, but there is clear, the, the surveillance, the, ca the camera work inside these casinos, they are so specific that you can see, you know, uh, uh, hands and, and that kind of thing. So to suggest that uh, uh, that it, it is not clear, I think everybody's being trying, trying to be politically correct. I don't believe the Seneca Nation is ever going to release this video. I think there are some other things going on within the Seneca Nation that they don't want to exacerbate this, uh, this issue. They don't want to make Mark Rosanti look bad. And frankly, I don't either. I just want Mark Rosati to stop trying to make false claims, and I want the media to stop trying to make this sound like this was Seneca businessmen attacking a New York State senator. He could have been Joe the plumber. I mean, here's, here's the bottom line. You have two Seneca men at a Seneca event, at a Seneca venue, having a discussion, and somebody in interjects the, uh, themselves into this, into this thing, saying, do you know who the blank I am? Uh, and, and expecting that his stature within the non-native society is somehow going to be uh, translate to to people be obeying his wishes. And, and, and that's condescending, it's paternalistic, and, and frankly, uh, I don't, I'm not saying that, I'm not condemning anybody's activity, but I'm just saying that uh, this thing is being spun very badly in the media. And stick with us, we have John Kane from Let's Talk Native on WWKB Radio, Sunday nights at nine o'clock. Hold tight, we'll talk more about this video, and that's how to get a hold of us. Welcome back to Two Sides. John Kane, the radio talk show host of Let's Talk Native, is here with us. Thank you very much for coming in. He brought the cell phone videotape of the scuffle uh, that has now been heard all around the country and the World Wide Web between Senator Mark Rosanti, unfortunately there lying on the floor, being held by security, uh, and a couple of businessmen. And it's whose point of view do you take? Right. Uh, could have been well-intentioned. But then, you know, when you're throwing haymakers, when the guy's walking away, and that's in another part of the video, uh, again, are you throwing the last sucker punch to get in because your wife got attacked? And, Two and, wrongs don't make a right. Right, and let's go to Mr. Kane on that, because I have a question about uh, the video itself. I mean, the video clip that we're seeing here on Two Sides with Missouri and Mahilu, it's, it's about a four-minute clip. And, sir, as you had mentioned before, inside any casino, I mean, they can basically read the, the date off a dollar bill on the floor. What are your thoughts, sir, on the Seneca's or the Niagara Falls Police Department releasing the entire tape of the incident? I don't believe they're going to do it. You know, I, I think they're going to look at the videotape and they're going to determine that, uh, you know, that there are no charges going to come out of, uh, out of the Grisanti claim. And, and, and frankly, that's for the best. There are people that are behaving badly here, but among the people behaving badly is Mark Grisanti and his wife. And, and, and that's my, that's, Really, my point is that this isn't just. And frankly, I'm a little disappointed in Rob Porter and uh, and Leslie Logan for for making it sound like uh, that the Senecas embarrassed themselves and, and embarrassed all uh, all you know the entire Seneca Nation because I don't think that's necessarily fair. I'm not saying that I condone any of the behavior that that uh, that I saw or heard of by anybody here. And, and I'm certainly not, and I don't think that uh, uh, that that Eric White or or, or whoever uh, uh, mixed it up with uh, Mrs. Grisanti. I, I wish none of that stuff had happened. But but it is still the big issue that I have is that it is not fair to suggest that this was uh, a, a political issue, that it was politically motivated, and that that, that somehow. I mean, when I, when I saw other news carriers, when I saw a newspaper saying that, uh, you know, using words like firewater and warpath and, uh, and savage, I mean, this, I'm sorry, no other uh, social <laughs> ethnic group would, would, uh, would tolerate that kind of language being used. And, and, and you know, even, even uh, the senator isn't suggesting 
that this was a racial issue, although he did suggest that, that somehow he was punched because he, was a, he identified himself uh, as, a, as a state senator. And, and, and rhetorically speaking, when somebody says, who the blank are you, they are not asking for you to produce ID. They, are, they really are expressing their indignation on you in, interjecting yourself into their, their business. They weren't really asking him to identify himself. And he, went, he made a point to say, do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? Well, you better know who I am. And that, and that was the whole point that, uh, and, and even Mar Maria Grassotti, when she came over, she was saying, you don't know who you're messing with. You don't. Nobody was messing with them. They were messing with people that they had no business being involved with. And Liddy has a question for you, sir. Yes, Mr. Kane, we're getting a lot of viewer feedback. And Ryan wrote in, he said, if there was nothing to hide and if it would help the story, if it would help people understand the story better, why not release that tape? Well, and, and, and I don't really, I have no say on that, you know, obviously. Uh, you know, none of the, no casinos, nobody likes to, uh, uh, to release video uh, if they don't need to. The, the police will look at it, and if there's anything there, uh, according to the gaming compact, both the state police and, and uh, the Niagara Falls police have jurisdiction to, uh, to prosecute any crimes that take place there. So clearly everybody's looking at the video, and there's nothing to substantiate, or not enough, put it that way, to substantiate what Mark Rosati is claiming that take, took place. You know, in, in a perfect world, everybody would see, uh, see what is on, uh, on the surveillance video, but, but I don't believe that anybody wants to uh, flame this thing anymore, and I don't even think, I don't think the Seneca Nation wants Mark Rosati or his wife to look any, uh, any worse than, than the cell phone video makes them look. All right, last question for you, sir. Now, sure. Again, regardless of how it started, regardless of whether there was a claim that Mrs. Grisanti was, was any kind of aggressor, I mean, she did suffer a concussion in this. Do you at least feel for her, again, regardless of how it started, the fact that it appears as though she, she was pummeled and hit pretty hard in this? Do you at least feel for absolutely. her in that I, I feel bad that, that, that she was in that circumstance. I, I absolutely do. And, and again, but... I saw, you can see her walking around in the video. I saw her in the interviews that Channel 2 and others did. I gotta tell you, she didn't look that beat up to me. I mean, I, I thought she looked, she looked very attractive on camera. So, and I'm not saying that she didn't get, uh, get floored. And I, I, but she certainly, you guys have shown better women. On, yes. on your news, and I'm, yes. and I'm mean to tell you that she does not look like she, uh, you know, that she suffered this vicious, savage uh, ambush by Indians at the casino. I'm sorry, it just doesn't. Her look, the look of her on this video, do not support what uh, what they are saying. I'm not saying she didn't get floored. I'm not saying she didn't uh, get roughed up. She certainly did. And frankly, what everybody is saying is that if she had not scratched a, uh, a rather. You know, uh, powerful Seneca woman across the face, this probably would not have happened. And I, and I hate to make light of it. I'm not trying to make, this is not funny. This is serious stuff. Somebody could have got hurt. It's good that nobody did get hurt. But I don't want this, to, this thing to make the tensions between native and non-native people uh, uh, any, any more, because there isn't really between native and non-native. We have issues with the state. I talk about it on my show all the time, but the reality is, had I not brought this issue up on my show and on WBEN, on, uh, on Dave Devo's show, nobody would be even offering to look at the other side of this thing, and of course, if the, if the video wasn't out there. And, and, and I say shame on everybody, and frankly, including Channel 2. You guys should not have jumped on uh, the, the Mark Rosanti bandwagon. You, should, you guys all should have been more responsible to say, wait a second, this is not making sense. Why, hasn't, why isn't there charges? Why isn't somebody arrested? I mean, everybody should have uh, should have taken a little more caution on how they uh, how they proceeded. And, with and the it story. is making better sense now that the video has been shown and we have talked to you. So, well, sir, thank you very thank much you for so coming much in. Thank you so much for coming on. Well, and thanks for having me. I really, I really appreciate, appreciate the opportunity it. because I think this stuff does. There does have to be a native view offered in the, on these native issues, and and it's got to be more than just uh, you know a few native leaders. Sometimes it's got to be people that are on the street that have to uh, have their opinions offered. John Kane from Let's Talk Native. We thank you very much for coming into Two Sides. Stay right there. We'll be back right after this.